All right, so let's talk about the sum of all odd then subarrays. So we are given an array of positive integer array and calculate the sum of all possible odd length subarrays. So you have to return the sum of all odd length subarray of array. So this question considered pretty hard. So I'm going to give this guy credit. So this is a legend. And uh, let's just dive into the example. So uh, this is the array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he actually, actually, um, give us the uh, answer already. So how many times one represent? This is actually five times, right? And eight times for two, nine times for three, eight times again for four, five times for five, right? So this is k equal to i plus one times and minus i. But somehow the odd, the odd then should be what? Three, four, five, four, three, right? Let me just uh, guide you three. So one, one, uh, 1 itself is actually a length of 1, which is our, our length, right? 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 3. Uh, 3 times for integer 1. And how about 2? 2, okay, 2 uh, for length 1 is actually 1. And then uh, for 1, 2, 3, there's another one, so it's 2. 2, 3, 4 is another one, which is uh, 3. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is Four, right so you have all length is actually equal to uh, k plus one divided by two right so you actually determine uh, what determine your uh, k if k is actually uh, mod by two is actually equal to one then you have to implement your count if not then you basically just return the, the even length right so this one is actually okay so this one is actually the same four and four so let me say another one. Okay, five. So uh, index two, uh, index three. So index three, you have to take five, not a four, right? So this is because what? One, two, okay, three, the length of one is one. One, two, three is another one. Two, three, four, another one. So it's actually what? One, two, three, and three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five is five, right? So you have to take five instead. So let me just call it and it will be able to follow along. So I have a return value which is result. I'm going to just call it uh, uh, result right now. So I need what? Well, I need an index for sure. I plus plus. So I will have to have the. I will have to have what? Uh, in this k equal to i plus 1 times n minus 1, uh, n minus i, right? So this is actually represent what? This actually represent in star equal to i plus 1, comma, n equal to array dot length minus i. So uh, this will be pretty much it, right? So I also need to have a k, okay, represent star time chain, right? So I will have to have a counter. So this is going to be my counts. Counts represent total minus uh, divided by two, right? So I will definitely get my uh, even length count for sure, right? So I have I have a four for this one, and four for this one. But in this case, in the odd index, it's actually have to increment by one. This is because uh, due to the math, right? So it doesn't matter. So if k mod two is actually equal to one count increment, right? Count plus plus. The return value is actually plus equal to count based on the count multiply the array i. So this will give me what? So in this one, uh, in this example, integer one, you will represent how many times? You will represent three times, right? So plus three, plus uh, and then four times two, which is eight. Five times three is 15, right? So this will be the answer. And this is pure math. So if you don't understand, this is definitely fine. So, uh, cannot find, okay, this is K, sorry, this is K, right? So let me submit. All right, so let's uh, talk about time and space. Space is going to be constant. Time is going to be all of N, N represent length of the array. And this is the question. Well, uh, uh, this is a solution for this question, and I will see you next time. Bye.